Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Traffic Lights of Bull 8, where I talk about traffic lights that are either previous or still going or upgraded from the past looks. Today we'll be doing the East Grand and Park Avenue traffic light. I chose this traffic light because even though it's basic due to the fact that it's really just a one side green arrow or one side it's really a one cycle traffic light where they both side only has a green solid so there's no like specialty where there's a left turn or anything but it did get an upgrade throughout the years as you can see this is what it looks like in 2007 typical ordinary traffic light with no black plates or anything. They did have the old school gray plates that you'll see on like very old looking traffic lights in the Wisconsin area. This one did have a black plates apparently, but that that's different. Now I'm gonna go to this next traffic light. I'm not gonna talk about it, that's for next episode. But the only reason I'm doing that is because I believe there's a picture from when they took down the traffic lights. Yep, here we go. So, in 2020 or 2011, they decided to reconstruct this road along with that road. And they closed down. And as you can see, the traffic lights are taken away. And again, this is a traffic light for another episode. But this one really didn't have any history towards it. But we'll wait until that episode. So then we go back over there and we ha now have what replaced them, which, again, there isn't really anything different about these intersections. So what they did was they basically rebuilt the system, but made it more modern. They added the new traffic light lens that you'll usually see on newer traffic lights. Um, all of the traffic lights now have black plates on them and stuff like that. And they're a little bit more longer, too. The pole's a bit more longer, too. So people, I don't know if they can do it to where people can be able to see easier. But either way, I kind of like that upgrade. They had a new crosswalk signals. I think these ones, I don't know if these are the ones that display the timer or not. But, yeah, really nothing different here. A little, this a little upgrade to add the downtown field because all the traffic lights in downtown boy all have the black poles on them. And it was really funny just looking at the old school traffic light. Because as you can see, it's like it's like you have this old, ugly-ass yellow pole traffic light that has all the old It's just old. And it's so out of place with every other traffic light that's in downtown Beloit. But then the intersection next to it, you have the whole black pole one. Now, you could just make the argument because that is a busier street. I think that's broad right there. And... It's just, it doesn't really change anything just for you to upgrade it. And yeah, now we have this. What? Okay, that's new. They repaved this road before? That road does not feel, look, because that's what it looks like now. It does not feel any different than what this looks like. This makes it look like it was so smooth. I, roll, I ride down this road sometimes and it does not feel that way. But okay, <laughs> moving on. And obviously going out throughout the years, it's, nothing really has changed anything with the traffic lights. I think if I can remember this one, one of these lights got knocked down by a car before. But people are, I guess, avoid this traffic light when it comes to knocking it down multiple times. Unlike the other traffic lights. But even if you skip 2019, again, really nothing going on with it. And yeah, a little quick, simple traffic light. Again, this one really wasn't really different when it comes to the traffic light. It was just a upgrade from what the same system. So uh, here, let's, let's see if we can find the control box. I think that's it right there. Let me make sure. Yep, that, that's definitely it right there. Yep. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching and see ya.